Alright guys, well I'm sorry about the funky lighting. It's really weird. It's the late evening sun. This is a clue here in the back. You people that are fans of Calvin will know right away who I'm talking about. Love from the corner. Calvin's Corner sent me this. The, I got it the other day and I've just been meaning to do a mail call. There it is. Hopefully it focuses. Calvin Corner. And he writes, Hey Paul, love the show. Have a great summer. Slap this sucker on your kayak or wherever you want. Thanks, man. And that's just the way Calvin is. I mean, he's just a laid-back, friendly kind of, just a guy you'd want for a neighbor or a buddy, you know. He's just a, a great guy out there. So definitely check out Calvin's Corner. He's got a pontoon boat, so you know he's got to be cool. I wish I had his pontoon boat. I'd put it to good use. And, you know, he does uh, outdoors, sitting by the fire, talking about stuff. Arrowhead hunting. Takes you on different adventures, different things there in Georgia. He's showing you. Takes you on the pontoon. So, he's always tons of mail calls, you know. He's a, he's a popular YouTuber, so definitely he's always putting out new content. He's a real loyal uh, YouTuber, you know, so I keep telling him he needs to check out Steam it. I know he'd be a big hit over there. He'd be making some good money, too, so. But um, check out Calvin's Corner 72. I'll put a link in the description for sure. Thank you, Calvin. I appreciate it. I drove. I'm in the nice town here of Ann Arbor, Michigan, and it's about an hour west of Detroit, Michigan, and this place has a huge buffet, so they say. I've never been here. It's a new one to me, so I don't know what the music situation, usually, you know, restaurants anymore, they have music, so you got to be careful filming in there, but I'm thinking I'll probably be getting some, um, some pictures anyway to cut in and and kind of take you along that way if I can't film but uh, one way or another we'll get some shots of it inside I uh, the outside's kind of cool for a Chinese buffet kind of place so let's see what it's like and thank you Calvin's Corner 72 okay this is the Asian City Buffet Ann Arbor Michigan gets like three stars on Yelp there's yours truly there on the bottom. <laughs> uh, my shadow. And that's what you need to see. All you can eat. That's what you're there for. That's the door knocker, which was pretty cool, I thought. When you go in, it has a huge koi pond. And it has like a huge wishing well type thing that you see there and Buddha's all over. Now this is one half of the buffet, the right half, where they have oodles and oodles of stuff. Now I will say this, if you are into seafood, that place has you covered with every kind of seafood that you can imagine. Um, I'm not that big into the seafood as much. So you can see the place, I mean, it looks huge, that's the right half, here's the left half, it's set up with like six of these huge um, buffet table things, so there is a big variety. Now, this is the hot sour soup, which was good, could have been hotter, you know, um, temperature wise, it, it tasted good though. And I judge every place by their hot sour. You gotta have good hot sour. Now, I love pot stickers. That's what these are. The only problem with the pot stickers is they were not hot. You know, when you bite into a pot sticker, you don't want to bite into something that's pretty much room temperature because it is made of pork. Um, so that was the biggest disappointment of the of the evening. Um, outside of that, the crab ragoons were good. Egg rolls were good. This is some barbecued chicken. And here, the pepper steak was pretty good. Big pieces of steak. 
they also had really good Mongolian. That was my favorite. Um, second favorite probably was the Mongolian beef. Had a good flavor to it. And this is the General Sal chicken. And those are some of my favorites right there. I really dig that Mongolian beef stuff. And uh, plenty of white rice, so that was good. And there you see that is my, I don't know if it's true or not, but that's my fortune. So would I go back? I probably would, but it was really for dinner. It was 15 bucks. I got the buffet and the tea. So I'm not that keen on I mean, it's not out of this world, you know, but I mean, really, yeah, usually anything for dinner, 11, 12 bucks. Lunch, you're talking, um, my favorite, the Dragon Buffet, you're talking seven, eight bucks, something like that. So, uh, I, I would say Yelp's about right. Yelp has it three stars. I might go three and a half just because I like buffets. It was not outstanding. Um, uh, it's still not as good as the Dragon Buffet. They had sushi there, but there was no um, guy back there working it, so it looked pretty sparse. Uh, you go to the Dragon Buffet, they got the same guy there. He's a sushi-making master, man. He really does a good job on it. But uh, anyways, uh, I want to say thanks again to Calvin Corner 72 Check him out. He's a good YouTuber, good guy, and thanks for your time. I appreciate you guys watching my vids, and we'll see yous.